Tonight the fisher knight leaves the humble shores of home for the heady depths of cart. Pray, let this token from humble Festy garner favor with the leviathans within. <laughs> oh, tut tut, no time for thanks, friend. The duke awaits. Sail on, dear knight, sail on. <laughs> I fear your crown outshines my own. <laughs> command. Every road in Brancis shall be open to you henceforth as a member of the world. Out. May your efforts help deliver us from the shadow of the dragon. As long as that damnable beast draws breath, I'll fail accept any help. Reason. Hail, sir. It seems you truly stand apart from the rest of us. Some sneered when I presented the Hydra's head, said it was your feet alone that won it. In truth, I cannot deny it. I had no hand in it. It is plain fact. But what of the enlistment corps, then? What meaning does our fealty hold? I have no answer to give my men. To give myself. All through my reign, I foresaw the coming of this danger. And so I gathered men into armies, stones into strongholds. I readied for war, and then you were risen. You came to us, and the dragon with you. Pray, think on the meaning of that, and of your duty. The sovereign of this land ill comprehends the urgency of the danger it faces. This eve's empty pomp is ample proof. All gaiety without a hint of real concern. I'll allow, tis well understandable. A people numbed by two generations of peace cannot be expected to know true resolve. Tis a lesson taught by fire and sacrifice. Pray let his grace learn before the fire takes all. But I ought not speak in such bold terms before his grace. Thank you. 
My, my. <laughs> Apologies, dear warrior. But to see a face austere as the castle walls adorned with this. <laughs> Still, tis more agreeable than the endlessly dour air of most of my husband's son swords. Valor dwells in the heart, after all. The brave ought not need their raiment to speak for their metal, no? Hail, dear warrior of the lovely helm. I fear I am remiss in asking your name, sir. Arisen? You must forgive me. I fear I am grossly ignorant in matters of war. I had thought all who fought shared the title warrior. By decree of the Duke, you were to be allowed free passage into the castle. This right extends only to your person, and you are advised to comport yourself fittingly. A grievous breach in conduct will see you removed from the castle, or worse. You will take your orders from the Duke's Chamberlain, Aldous. Speak to him for further instruction. May the Maker see you on to further glory, sir. How fared your audience with His Grace, Arisen? Aldous Ludric Sorn at your service, sir. I serve as a Chamberlain in the Duke's court. As you may have seen for yourself, it seems His Grace is unwell. In truth, there is worry enough to make any man's head ache, but I fear he ails of worse than worry. Perhaps I ought not speak further on the matter, for my own well-being. I am charged with assigning royal orders, tasks of great import issued by the Duke himself. Pray forgive the bother, but I ask that you come to see me here in the castle whenever circumstances allow you to take on assignment. The future of this war is murky, sir. May your efforts help to bring its end into sight. Thank you. 